Then he said unto the disciples, It is better that offensive will come, but woe unto him through the whom they come. Salakia. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Salutation to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth sincerity. And you know, um It's one of my favorites. You know, I say that every video. I mean, my mom would just say the whole book my favorite, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. And this really happens every day. You know, I'm talking about if you actually decide to talk to people. See, I'm the one. I'm the kind of person that like I try to like I, I try to sneak the word up in there. You know what I'm saying, like. Especially to like, you know, people that you care about, you know, just to see where they mind at, right? And, you know, mo majority of people are Christians. And once they really start digging into the word, they really, really are offended. But the scripture said that, but woe to who the offensive coming. So like, once you, once you change your life, they didn't change their life. They think that they live in life good. They think that they good. And so they look at you like something wrong with you. And if you got one of them old Christians, aunties, uncles, grandma, whatever. Oh, that's Satan, baby. That's Satan. You know, they want to call you Satan and things like that. You know, and, and, and it's funny because, you know, you're once you really dig into this truth, you realize how disciplined you um you're, you're striving to be and how. The law is to show you how to govern yourself. And Christianity shows you to do whatever you want to do. And don't have no morals. And don't have nothing to govern you. Just do what you want. Believe on Jesus. Everything will be alright. Same person with lobster juice all over their lips will try to tell you about the book or about how God uh, did away with the law or even try to tell you something about it, you know, but he said that it's, but that offensive will come, right? It is impossible, but that offensive will come because here's the thing. When you go to um, Luke 2 and 34, when Yahweh Shah was born, it said that he would be the rising and falling of many in Israel. Which shows you again that he only talked the whole book is about Israelites, but you know, um but offensive come when you really, really dig into this um this book and then you even have to examine yourself because as the scripture says in um Ecclesiastes one and eighteen you know, in much wisdom come much grief. And he that increase of sorrow, Salakia, he that increase of knowledge, increase of sorrow. So the more you dig deep, the more the Lord sup with you, the more your understanding grow, you realize you get real sorrowful. <laughs> real a lot of grief could come out of that because then you realize which a lot of people, I'm about, I'm about to name some things that people are offended of. And this is what I mean that you even got to examine yourself because I always say, I'm going to use this analogy real quick before I get to my point. If you was in the hood, you know, and um, you had a gang in your hood and say it was the Crips or something. And you realize that your life is in danger if you don't join this um, gang. You know, and your best way of not being messed with, uh, keeping your life is joining the game. So what are people going to do? They're going to join it. Now, you got some people because people always like to talk about situations that they never be in. So they're able to have an opinion. But if they was living in it, they wouldn't say, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Then what you're going to do? Because here's the thing about it. I'm a person who grew up in the hood. Right. Majority of us have. And this ain't even my situation. But. 
talking to people, watching documentaries, TV, movies, all that stuff. You know, that comes from a place and that's from, that's real. Like I used to watch um I used to watch a lot of um gang documentaries and stuff like that and most people that joined the gang was for protection. Because they had no way out. Because you look at it from the outside. Like, well, why is mom didn't move or anything? Who the hell say she got money? She in the hood for the damn reason. For a damn reason. But anyway, so, so guess what? You join it, right? The same thing how you bound to this word. No matter what. You cannot believe. You could be offended. But what is the point? If you be offended... You're just going to be destroyed more. More If you be down with it, which it ain't your choice anyway, the Lord got to choose you. But we still, we, the word is so simple that we can literally use, it could be so not edifying. That's how simple the word is. It could be so not edifying that when a person come up, we could just tell them like, listen, God don't love you. He didn't choose you. If you don't repent. That could be the end of the conversation, but it's not edifying. See, that's straight to the point. That's why the Lord called this for the foolishness of preaching. Save them that believe. I mean, the reason that is foolishness is because no matter what, salvation going to come to Israel. No matter what, two thirds going to be destroyed. No matter what, the elect is going to be the elect. Everything is already sealed. Everything is already going, running its course and going to run its course. We know the word. And we could just tell everybody, like, listen, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You got a possibility, you know, because the scriptures talk about how we are the judges and we are judged by no one. Only people that could judge us is your how about you, man, was shy and other brothers. The world can't judge us, man. You know? That's offensive. Let's name something else that's offensive. Uh, God only love Israelites. That's offensive. And it's actually more offensive to our own people. Our people don't want to be um special. Fuck them, man. Look, and, and when you think about it, you have to. I see why the Lord have to destroy two thirds of our people, man. Because you can't bring niggas into the kingdom. <laughs> They be looking at your wife, you know what I'm saying? They still, and and you know, going back to my point of, even if the Lord did save all of Israel, we all going to be perfect. But see how, you see where I'm going with this, how it could be edifying because if you, if you use it in a carnal sense and bring it home spiritually, then you can get you can open people's eyes. When you be straightforward, sometimes you can't open people's eyes because it's like, damn. But the word is like, damn. It is what it is. So anyway, so like, yeah. So if you say two thirds, they be looking at your wife, scheming on your wife, jealous of you because you you they at a lower rank and you at a higher rank. You know what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, is that yeah, two thirds ain't gonna make it. That's a straight point thing. If two-thirds was to make it, they'd be perfect anyway. So that wouldn't even happen, what I just said. But when you put it in those type of terms, then you get people to understand. Now, what's another thing that's offensive? The Lord actually... Well, actually, a lot of people don't talk about this. So I'm going to talk about it. The Lord actually made you to go off. The Lord is the one that put you in sinful flesh. Just to punish you. And then deliver you. That could be offensive to people. That's going into Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For much wisdom come much grief, and for he increase of knowledge, increase of sorrow. Because then, now, oh, now you're a prisoner of hope. You still have wicked thoughts. Your flesh is wicked. As the scriptures say, your flesh profit nothing. So now you're like, okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, how about you? I was I gave me this flesh, man. I'm trying to do right, but I can't. That could be offensive to you, but guess what? It's not gonna get you nowhere. It's not gonna get you nowhere. You being offended, what you gonna do? Can you fight the most high? Can you win a fight? 
do anything anything that you you can have an evil thought you can say fuck this shit all gonna lead to destruction so you might as well get down and lay down all right and another thing too no let's use another analogy pharaoh pharaoh wanted to let us go after the first two plagues but the Lord kept hard on his heart for he could show his power in the earth. Boy, boy, boy. Now, I want to get this real quick. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to our understanding. And that's the thing, though, because the scriptures say that his, his thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are not our ways. So even when you think that you're brilliant or smart or you think you could do better than the most high he gave you your thoughts you didn't create nothing you ain't create this earth you ain't create the sun moon and stars you ain't create animals man ain't create nothing the wicked right now is trying to create a living organism to make another a, a living organism because guess what living organisms create living organisms a man can't create a human being he can create a robot but they can't reproduce. Reproduction, that's from the creator right there. Everything is from the creator. Even the man that's saying trust in science and technology, the Lord created him. So that's why you're supposed to trust in the Lord with all that heart and lean not to that own understanding. Because when you try to when you try to lean to your own understanding, that's when you're gonna bug out. That's when you're gonna fall away. That's when you're gonna try to let's get this real quick. I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this first. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. So when the Lord realized that, okay, I trust in you. Whatever you wanna do, I'm with it. I'm humbling myself. I need you. That's when your life starts to get better. And that's when you actually, not better, because you're still gonna go through shit, but that's when you're able to wrap it around your mind. Hey, I'm gonna go through shit, but at the end, I'm going to win. So that's what makes your life better because when you don't have no certainty, you know, that's when you like, man, I ah, fuck this shit. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So from here, when you when you try to trust in your own self, when you try to I can matter of fact, I can't I gotta I gotta get Jeremiah. That's what I gotta get. Thus saith the Lord, cursed be the man that trusted in man and make a flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord. So when you trust in man, when you trust in you trying to give your own self salvation, when you trust in your own strength, when you trust in the flesh, when the Bible say that the flesh profit nothing, because when you trust in yourself, you are a fleshly individual. All right. It don't matter if you know this truth. It don't matter if the Lord have mercy and grace upon you. You're still wicked. Your righteousness is as filthy rags. So you are put in a position, as I say at the end of the scripture, and whose heart departed from the Lord. He don't want that. He puts you in a position where you have no choice but to trust in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. People are offended by that. Okay? And I'm going to end it here. Cause I can make this video long. Cause right now I'm really just uttering through the spirit, man. Cause it's like some things people just don't understand that when you really dig into this word, it could be offensive. But the scripture says, as it said, woe to him who the offensive coming. And a lot of people are offended, and a lot of people uh offenses coming come of to the men of the Lord, man. So a lot of people are going to die a horrible death. Even um these Christians, they probably going to die the worst, man. You know, because they is horrible. They the one, they the, they the face of the vaccination. They the one telling you to go go take it. Hopefully I don't get a strike for that. So anyways, um, this is what you call you're bound to the word no matter what. This is what you call, if you want to be offended, go ahead and be offended, but it don't matter. You still are subjected. 
All right. For the creature was made subject to vanity. OK, not willingly. Do you know what vanity mean? Worthless. Nothing. Hopeless. Because if you take the lure out the picture, you are hopeless. You're just a breath. The Lord could take that breath at any time. You could be balling out rich, having all the hoes, all that stuff, and then you be in the grave the next day. And then you ain't when you in the grave, you ain't thinking about. Cause you know, I used to say that when I was a kid. I think that's a, actually a um, popular saying. Well, at least if I well, when I die, I just want to say that I did this and I did that. You ain't saying none of that shit in the grave. You're dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're in the spirit world looking in the eyes of Yahweh and Yahweh shy and they looking at you like you is a wicked son. All right. So for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. See, because you ain't have no choice. This is what you call subjected. This is what you call bound. This is what you call you can have your opinion all you want to. But what are you going to do? Are you going to fight against the most high? Are your arms long enough to box with the most high? But by reason of him. This is why, y'all. But by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. So, yeah, he made you in a low state, but he also wants you to depend on him. And that's what he delight in. That's what he delight in, man. He delight in a man that trusts in him. He delight in a man that... Hmm, thought I was going to end it. And I'm, I'm going to end it here, though. This what he. This is what he wants. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. That's what you call being subjected to hope. That's what you call being made subject to vanity, not willingly. Because he's the only one that can save. Our Savior name means that. He delivers. He saves. Yahweh was shy, man. You know? But people are really offended, man, at that. People think they can trust in themselves. People get mad when you tell them the truth about how God only loves his children. People get offended when um, you tell them like, hey, when you really go deep, which you shouldn't even try to go deep with a person at first. But when a person gets on your nerves and you have to go deep for they can shut the hell up, they get offended, man. When you start digging into these scriptures, man, they get offended. All right. Oh, the law still stands. People are offended. <laughs> but I'm going to read it one more time and then end it it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord and that's why Yahweh Shai came down here to die for the sins of Israel probably be my next video and through him we are alive man and I'm grateful for that because I ain't shit all praise to Yahweh Shai and shalom to the hopeful elect, which I hope to be myself.